these taps before, but never dies. That's what, um, and I kind of underestimated how hard it would be to get it started because I did try clamping that in my vise, but, uh, for one, this is exactly three eighths. Um, and kind of what I was reading on the internet said in order to take some round stock and thread it, there's actually a measurement slightly below, um, whatever, you know, your rod would be half inch, three eighths, quarter, uh, it'd actually be slightly below and you use a die on it. Um, and I looked on a, well, I did a search and came up with a YouTube vid of a guy that used his drill press. And basically what you would do is cut this like in half and drill out for whatever diameter. So for three eighths, you'd be slightly below that. So you could clamp it in and get it straight and then clamp this and then use the head of that, sorry, right here, to actually push on top and uh, keep it straight and keep a little pressure on it. Uh, what I did was, with this mill, um, I just chucked it up in an R8, um, in the R8 uh, 3 8 inch collet, and kept it straight, and since that had a flat spot on it, I just clamped it in, in this uh, Kurt vise. And then um, I threw this washer on top to keep the die from messing up the bottom of the collet. And then I would just press down on it like this and uh, put some pressure while I rotated the, uh, the die in there. Um, and that worked real good. Uh, these are just cheap Harbor Freight dies. And... Um, you know, a set of tool steel or um, a better steel might cut a little better, but uh, from what I read, this would be adequate enough for hand um, hand threading. Well, I was afraid of that. I could feel this crap kind of given. Um, I think what I worst case what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll just take and put a pipe wrench on this thing. I'll break this one off. Or, uh, yeah, I'll either try and break that off or I'll just put the pipe wrench on. Um, 